Yes, first, if I can start with you, Dr. Bedi, you know, we just see, I mean, one of the highlights that have been pointed out is that since 2008, it's only gone up. And since last year, two places, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, they continue to top. So the question is, do police, for the police, is it a low priority area, crime against women? Would they, you know, would they rather focus on things like terrorism and also the IPL? Uh, Sunetra, till Nirbhay's case happened, or we call her also Damini, till that happened, yes, it was a low priority. Crimes against women registration reporting was a low priority. But not more. No more. Now it is not a low priority. On the contrary, non-registration calls is going to call for very heavy punishment and a very heavy public censure. So now the policemen are under pressure to record more, to register more and register correctly. So that is why you see a hike in reporting. There's a higher in registering crime. There's more of reporting because the general awareness generated after Damini Nirbhay's case. And there's certainly a compulsive and compulsory registration, okay. which to my mind is good. More reporting, more registering, more prevention of crime because more investigation, the fear of law, the process of law begins. So therefore, this should not alarm us. This should not alarm us because the more registration of crime means the police is responding to complaints which are getting registered. And also that police, women are coming to the police to report the crime, which they weren't earlier. So I okay. think this is a good thing for crime to get exposed. Okay, Mathura, I want to take this to you. Dr. Kiran Bedi says something which a lot of other senior police officers say as well, that look, it's good they're coming out and reporting, which they weren't doing before cases are getting registered. Then why is it that activists like you are so angry? Yes, Madhura. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear that. Um, um, uh, you asked me about uh, why uh, the activists like me are more angry. Yes. Um, it's because, uh, first of all, what uh, Ms. Bedi said about uh, this being low priority since like late last year, which is unacceptable. The if you look at the National Crime Records Bureau data, uh, at least in case of West Bengal, uh, the number of cases has been rising. So uh, like there have been more reportage. At the same time, the way uh, the state has been dealing with dissent, both in Delhi and now uh, even in West Bengal, is, is, uh, is very unsettling for all of us. Like, um, if, if we do come out on the streets to protest, mm -hmm. then uh, we are being uh, you know, met with water cannons, we are being uh, put into, dragged into police vans, being arrested for no reason, even if it is a peaceful so protest. So are you saying that basically so the government it is a doesn't want to... A lot of concern. Are, are you saying that not only are the crimes rising, but the government doesn't want to hear any criticism or concerns, citizens' concerns about it as well, right? Um, that seems to be the message because as an op opposition leader, uh, Ms. Banerjee uh, was very uh, vocal about crimes against women. Uh, I mean, I remember as late as, uh, you know, the, uh, in the Shingur incident when Taposhi Malik was raped and murdered, she was very vocal about it. But since uh, she has been in power, I mean, all we are hearing uh, after crimes are being reported by women is that they're liars and uh, this is all fabricated and this is sort of like... Uh, uh, conspiracy against the uh, government yes. in power by Maoists or by opposition parties and that is unacceptable. Okay. Why can't uh, we accept that there is a genuine space for dissent here? Yeah. 